Hello there, guys. How are you guys doing today? It is Pearl Jr. Once again, um, you know, I want to just be positive, you know, and um, do something really great and really positive. Um, first, some housekeeping, which is uh, I like to thank 3T, not the group 3T, but three women and their names start with T's. I like to thank Tia and TK. You girls are awesome. Just thank you so much for having me and Peter's back. Uh, you girls are good. You know, you guys need to start like a cybersecurity firm or something. Uh, you're so talented and dedicated, and I wanted to thank you. And I also want to thank uh, Tammy. See these little Tinkerbell earrings? See, I hope you can see them. See, Tinkerbell earrings. Tammy sent those to me. Remember I told you last time that I couldn't read her writing? Well, she contacted me and her name is Tammy. And she sent me a beautiful note, a beautiful card. And also this little sign here that says believe. Can you see that? Let's see. Oh, there you go, there it goes. See, it says believe. And that's really nice. So I'd like to thank her so much, so very much for sending me gifts. And you other people that have sent me gifts, don't worry, I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you. Uh, whoever sent the little uh, gift for Ruby, I'm going to wait for Ruby to uh, come over, maybe this week, and I'm going to give it to her. And then I'm going to record it, okay? Uh, and then, um, you know, uh, most of you guys who've been following me for a lot of years, you know that every Father's Day, and, um, and fathers in the black race family are so important. Fathers and husbands are just so missing. Uh, in the black race family and you know without fathers who are usually providers and protectors um, uh, that means that one person is doing it all and you know and when one person is doing it all you can't do it as well as two people doing it all um, and uh, so we have a problem with that in the black race family more so than any other culture so I every year on Father's Day I volunteer my services to Denise Estelle the beautiful beautiful Denise Estelle uh, let me turn this around while I continue to talk so you can see her and uh, Denise Estelle and uh, we honor fathers in the community and I've been doing it oh my god for about I don't know 10 12 years maybe longer and uh, so every year for many years I tried to get Joe to be honored Papa Joe to be honored and I never could so now that he's gone and he's passed away in honorarium posthumously um, I asked Denise Estelle to um, honor Papa Joe Jackson, and that's us holding the uh, the certificate. And um, Andre Parvenu, he was a California State Commissioner. That's him in the middle. He went ahead and he signed it. You know, because Joe Jackson, no matter what you think of him, he raised some fantastic children. I mean, Janet, oh, is wonderful. Michael's wonderful. Uh, the Jackson Five, the Jacksons, Reby had a hit. I mean, all his kids have accolades that are out of this world. And uh, LaToya as well. You know, maybe you don't agree with LaToya when she posed on the cover of Playboy, but it was the number one selling Playboy in Playboy's history at that time. And um, so, of course, there's been some bumps and, and bruises, of course, because it's the entertainment field. But uh, none of them were strung out on drugs except for what the doctors purposely did. And Debbie Rowe admitted that she was a part of it when they purposely addicted Michael Jackson to drugs, Klein and Hoff Hofflin and Debbie Rowe. Uh, she said it under oath at the Catherine versus AEG live trial. And uh, so Michael, it wasn't his fault that he had issues with um, prescription drugs. And when she said that, I broke down in tears in the courtroom because how could someone do something like that? Powerful, powerful 
prescription medications after he had the surgery um, um, to repair his scalp from the Pepsi burn. Um, so, you know, and all Michael's, all Joe Jackson's kids have manners, they're polite, they're gracious. Um, he, I, I put Joe Jackson's kids up against anybody's kids in the whole wide world. And was he perfect? No. But I cannot imagine life without the Jackson 5 in it. I just, I just can't imagine. And I can't imagine life without Michael Jackson in it. And the music of Michael Jackson's and the charitable contributions in the millions, over a hundred, two hundred million dollars in charity. I mean, that fed people, that clothed people, that entertained people. Thank you, Joe Jackson. So, I'd like to read this salute to Joe Jackson, okay? I'd like to read it. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to read it while I hold the, hold the camera. So it says, Estelle for Humanity, Honor Thy Father Awards 2018, a salute to outstanding fathers and male mentors, Joseph Walter Jackson. And this was done on July 2nd, 2018. Um, Estelle for Humanity acknowledges the lifetime achievements of Joseph Walter Jackson, who defied the odds of adversity to establish himself as a pillar of strength, focus, and tenacity. His relentless vision for excellence changed the trajectory of his family's destiny. Joe Walter Jackson was so vested in the success of his children that he established not only personal wealth, but a multi-generational wealth, not only musical stars in the United States, but international musical legends. His focus and business savvy in the music industry was nothing short of extraordinary. Estelle for Humanity gives a royal salute to the life and times of an international music dynasty patriarch, Joe Walter Jackson. His contributions has made an indelible imprint on our world, and we are forever thankful. I'm going to turn my camera around. I'm, I know I'm watching MSNBC because I keep up on politics, too. But I just wanted to read that, and I'm sorry that I got a bit emotional. But every time I thought about it, I would think about... You did it, Joe Jackson. You did it. You did it. Michael was five years old and Jermaine and Tito and Jackie had their singing group and Michael wanted to be a part of it and Joe thought Michael was too little and Michael practiced, you know, lift every mountain and um, sang it in the talent show as a five-year-old and Joe was just mesmerized. And no matter how big of fans we are of the Jacksons, no matter how many albums, how many... Um, the concerts we went to, it's all important, but we're not, Joe, we're not the Jackson's biggest fan. Their father, Joe Jackson, was their biggest fan. So, I will just leave you guys with this. Thank you, Joseph Walter Jackson.